Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to make an infection map. First, you have to choose infection and choose any stage you want. Okay, so first, um, you'll need one initial spawn for red. Okay, so in order for this to work, it's best you set the game type of label to infection spawn. Red team is for humans. Okay, so I'll place it on top here. Red team for humans. And blue team is for zombies. You can have these white spawns for anyone, but it doesn't really matter. What I did is changed it to... Let's see. Okay, so zombies should be blue team. And you switch that to infection spawn. If you want it for safe havens, you switch the infection spawn to infection haven but this is for normal infection okay so have the blue team as zombies and red team as humans so you're gonna need a normal respawn point for and you can switch it to blue team and you have to set all of those to infection spawn This is absolutely necessary because without these, when you go to load up your map and the game type, it'll say this is, this isn't compatible. So you need to have it in order for these to work. You can have an initial spawn camera, so when the match starts, everyone will be able to. Red team clips will see that island. If you have a blue team, blue team will see that island. You don't need it. Okay, so the next thing is, you put a respawn zone any size you want it to be. Set it to red team for the red team's respawn zone. Or you can set it to blue team for the blue team's spawn zone. Okay, so you need an objective. A hill marker will be used for safe haven. You need to have this there, and you should set it to infection spawn also. If this isn't in the match, then it won't work. This is if ever you play safe haven with it. So the hill will appear right here. Okay, so. You can place as many as those as you want for if it's a haven map. Next, um, you can just build what you want. You can put kill boundaries to stop them from leaving. And once you have everything, it'll be fine. But make sure to have enough spawn zones for survivors and zombies. And that's all you need for the infection map. Now you start a new round. Should spawn up there. Just doing this to make sure it works. So I spawn up here. Then you go safe map. I'll name a tutorial. Okay, now if you go to custom games and you choose 
perfection. Wait. Let's see. Did I forget something? Oh, I think I may have forgotten to set something. But we can go back. Like that, it says, oh, it doesn't work. But here's a map which already says, oh, we can just watch what's on there. Yeah, have it's a fat kid, a remake from Halo 3. Where his army's a fat kid. And he's extremely slow. But he has a 2000 damage resistance and 4 times overshield. With a huge melee um, upgrade. Okay, so yeah, I have all my spawns, my spawn zone, one initial spawn, set to games. Oh, change this to game specific. You want to change the initial respawn, properties, advance, and game specific. True. You should do that for all your respawn zones. Set them all to true and have your respawn point. You just respawn zone. Then you do exactly the same for all the respawn zones here. Well, actually, it doesn't need to be true. But you need to have a blue one, a blue one, and you need to have a blue spawn zone. Set for infection spawn. Okay, down here, there should be a hill. Okay, so you can set that to neutral. Game specific, true. Game type label, haven. That's why I did wrong. The hill must be set to haven, not infection spawn. Once you have that, it should work. If you like this map and want to try it out, I have it in my file share. It's where humans must run to here, operate all these turrets. Turret right here. You can shoot these to launch off at the zombie. Doesn't work all the time. Fuel rods. Put another turret. Then you have a ray. But try not to fly to the kill them. You can shoot zombie as he's coming. Then there's like teleporters, shader, rocket launchers. Fly up. One teleporter leads you here. You grab snipers, spotting lasers, then another teleporter is from over here. You can use that to get up there also. But it at such a high point you can't jump. If you look down, there's a plasma launcher fixed into position. There's another ray. Okay, you can use that. Then, if you pass downstairs, like right here, you can go fly up this gravity lift, go up there, or go up there. If you go up the lift, you end up on here. Where are they? DMRs and assault rifles. Over here is a focus rifle. And you and his army should spawn over there. After 30 seconds, man cannons will spawn and let them come over here. But the main thing is, it's pretty unfair to run back across. I think I should edit that so you can't go back. Yeah, I will. Okay. So gadgets. On uh, one ray shield. Set it into this. Let's see. Change just to make sure I set that there. Yeah. And spawn time. Set that to. 180 seconds. Uh, 
Um, advance, place that start folks. So that once you reach a certain limit, you cannot go back. Because this army can't run all day. So this spawns after. Okay, so once a human spawn, they'll just go over here and run across. So that they can't run all over there and zombie can't get them. I place these. Grids for decoration, kill balls, grassy bliss, special effects, lights, and you start off with one life. If this zombie falls off and you want to kill him by jumping off, you will fall faster than him, even though he's heavier. But that's just a man. Okay, so you just need all those items for your forge to it, for your infection mask to it, and that's all. Save map. And Okay, so I have that on that that kid on my file share. You can find it on Catherine Slayer in nineteen ninety six file share. And when you go in custom games now, it won't say this isn't compatible. It should work now. All other things need special objects for them to work. And that's all.